Welcome to Wise Beyond Bitcoin, where you come for education, analysis, and opportunities in blockchain and crypto. My name is Lucas. I'm Jacob. And as usual, we've got some wonderful up-to-date information on the latest and greatest happening in blockchain and crypto. Jacob has found some amazing research, and as usual, he loves to get down into the nitty gritty and the technical details of what's going on. So if you like the education aspect of understanding what's the value in the different protocols, what are they bringing to the table beyond just the technical chart analysis and the trading? Because this is not financial advice. This is educational information. This is for entertainment purposes. We are really just trying to learn this new technology the best we can following all those great uh, ambassadors out there. And it's such a fast growing ecosystem and it's so dynamic. There's more than we can ever learn on our own. So if you have a project that you think would be great for us to follow up on and take a look at, please drop in the comments. If you like learning about this kind of stuff, what's going on and how to be involved, because we do have technical how-to videos as well then hit the thumbs up, the notification bell, and all that good stuff. But uh, without further ado, we kind of have a little bit of a follow-up on two videos because, Jacob, you've done a technical video on ZK rollups, and we, we've gone into detail about that and what, what the value that brings to scalability in blockchain and smart contracts. But you've also talked about Shine Network, Bolt Swap, and what they're doing with Kusama, and uh, that whole ecosystem with multi-chain swaps and, and across cross-chain hubs. So knowing that Kusama is the Canary Network and the, the testing lab, although uh, a, a final chain in its own right, for Polkadot, then uh, that means that whatever does well on Kusama and we see how that works, then that really helps flush out, you know, get the details, uh, fine tune it for what they bring out on Polkadot, which is really exciting with the information you have today. Okay. So now that I've gone through that long intro, uh, let's get right to it. Boom. Boom. <laughs> so a star is having a, a crowd loan, right? Uh, for a parachain auction. And what's really cool about this is uh, the way you take part in these parachain auctions is you take your DOT tokens, right? And you lock them up for a period of time. And during that lock, you're auctioning that the this particular uh, smart contract or this particular token is going to win that auction. And if it does, they'll actually give you their tokens for the DOT that you provided them as collateral early on. And so it's a great way to take part in the ecosystem without having to spend your dot. So this is a non-taxable event that's going to happen. You're just locking your dot for a period of time to possibly earn tokens if they win a parachain. And if not, you get your dot released back to you. So it's a, it's an interesting way to, to take part in these ecosystems. And as you can see, the, uh, the current leaders in the parachain auction, uh, A-star happens to be number three. And we're going to talk about those reasons today, why it's number three, and why it's, in my opinion, one of the more, more anticipated, if not the most anticipated, right behind Akala. In my opinion, I think A-Star is going to be um, much more imperative uh, to the Polkadot ecosystem based off of the, the real value potential that it's bringing. And so uh, we're going to go ahead and get into that right now. Let's do it. I, I have, I, I would like to do a follow up, another video on, on Akala. Um, I do feel that it, it is a huge value added. However, um, you, you're right. And the good news is, is this is not uh, a race to number one. There will be several winners, there will be uh, several slots in, in this first round of auctions. So uh, a star, a star. It looks like it has a strong chance at being one of the few and the proud of the polka dot pair chains. So, yeah, let's get right to it, brother. Okay. Well, so what is A star? Uh, that, that's a great question. Um, a star, like every other Ethereum competitor, is 
competitor. <laughs> um, it's a smart contract platform. And so it's a platform where you can develop, write, and deploy smart contracts. And I, I say A star is a competitor, but really it's adding value to every ecosystem that it touches. And that's something that's pretty interesting about what they're what they're doing. And so their technology that they use uh, is super interesting. It's actually in the next tab, uh, optimistic virtual machines are kind of the, the thing that drive A-star. And so, so what is an optimistic virtual machine? Well, the OVM is a virtual machine designed to support all layer two protocols. So we're talking ZK rollups. We're talking uh, any zero knowledge proof technology. We're, we're talking things like any rollup technology in general, not even just zero knowledge, but just any roll-up technology. This also means for the Lightning Network. This also means for the Ethereum virtual machine, for WebAssembly, for different coding languages. So what this allows for is this is a hub for both ASTAR and also for Shiden because they both use optimistic virtual machines. They are now a hub where people can deploy their smart contracts very, very easily with minimal to no change in the code uh, whatsoever. And quite honestly, can develop in these ecosystems very, very quickly. Um, I think it's amazing the value potential that they're, they're bringing in with interoperability being the focus. And I think it's, it kind of ties into the ethos of Polkadot, interoperability interoperability, interoperability, interoperability. And so I think A-star is kind of this, this polka dot golden child, so to speak, where it, it really does embody the polka dot ethos of interoperability. I dig it. I'll go one further. You know, it's one thing to be interoperable with other ERC-20 tokens, right? Or other EVMs, right? But they're looking to be, you know, it's when you see interoperability with, with really other native blockchains, that's that's taking it to a whole new level. And that not only for uh, Plasma applications, but for Lightning Network applications as well. So I, from what I understand, um, if that's the same Lightning Network that's developed on Bitcoin protocol, I believe yep. that that's talking about bridging directly as a layer two for, for Bitcoin as well, which is huge. Absolutely which is huge. So that's awesome, brother. Very cool. Well, um, we're, we're definitely going to link this b below for those who want to learn more because this, this is where you do right here. Cause even says right here, do you see what it says over here? Learn, learn. That's it. So you come over here. Um, did you want to cover any more of this article for now or. Uh, I think we'll go ahead and let them read the article. Totally. And, and drop some comments and let us know what they think about it, what they find. Okay. Um, and we got a little tweet to come over because we have talked about Shine Network, but now we're talking about some of the tokenomics and what to look forward to with A star, A star, A star. I don't know how it's pronounced. Have you heard people talk about it? Is it A star, A star? I, I just call it A star. <laughs> Sounds like a star. It's a great, it looks like a star. Okay. So what, what's this all about? So Shiden recently did a uh, proposal and they proposed to burn 20% of all transaction fees on the network. And it actually passed with 100%. Not a single person voted against it, which is not only amazing, just the fact that a, not a single person voted against it, but also that everyone sees the value potential of deflationary ecosystems uh, being tied to really the network effect. So as the network effect grows, you have this deflationary force coming against it, uh, fighting off selling pressure and, and fighting off uh, kind of adding that value while fighting off that selling pressure. And I think something that uh, is really interesting is they don't just have the uh, economics in mind, but the interoperability and in the future of their network in mind as well with how they're gonna connect with all of these different blockchains. 
And I think that uh, between Shiden and between A Star, there's some amazing things that they've personally developed within their ecosystems that are holistically unique to their ecosystems. And that's the, the build to earn platform. And so it's a really awesome method of being able to bootstrap liquidity for developers by providing liquidity for developers who want to build dApps, you're earning rewards for doing so. So it's a build to earn ecosystem. It's uh, extremely interesting going into this and looking at these different ecosystems and some of the ways that they reward uh, the people who add value and what better way to reward people than to reward the developers and the people supporting your developers. I think, honestly, it's, it's, it's an amazing model. I dig it. Very cool. Very innovative. Um, and this is, uh, well, it's really good to know more about A-Star and how it works, considering that it is live right now as one of the original first, not the, the, one of the first, isn't that cool? You, mentioned, you know, even just a little bit, you know, you look at what Ethereum or Bitcoin, what they were several years ago, and this is Polkadot, what people have been waiting for. Uh, the building blocks, Kusam, pull out these parachain auctions, and 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 really these projects are just getting off the ground. So this is abs absolutely the beginning. Just just a a small drop of energy into these protocols can potentially um, uh, bear a, a lot of fruit in the future with the value added. Um, you know, that, that this technology brings to the economy in the future, how, how this continues to play out, um, what we shall see. This um, is yet to be known and determined. But a lot of these projects I sure am excited about. I know there's uh, a lot more of these projects that I wish, I wish and hope to be able to cover. There are ways to support this channel if you'd like, although um, we prefer to teach you how to fish than um, to sell you on the idea of phishing. So you'll notice that the links below are for crypto addresses. And if you don't already have any of those your own, or you don't already have any crypto of your own, well, then it's going to be difficult to support us. Uh, maybe we'll get a referral link for some of these in the future. But if you enjoy what you learn and it adds value and you wish to show a little love back, you can also, the, the best thing you can do, the most important thing is, hey, you know what? You could say, say something, say some good vibes in the comments. You can hit a thumbs up and subscribe, notification bell, share it for those who you think would care to know about this kind of stuff. Akala just flipped Moonbeam, by the way. Moonbeam was the lead. Now Akala has flipped it. And uh, I, I'm very bullish on Akala and what they're working on, too. I've done a little bit of research on to, uh, with listening to some of the people in the project and what they have to say and what they've been working on. So it's really exciting. Actually, just a lot of these projects right now. Have you noticed that just there are so many innovative and just valuable really well well designed good tokenomics solid and there's a lot of competition i guess that was the point of polka dot and gusama by making these auctions they really wanted to make it competitive to where unlike erc20 tokens where anyone could just slap a token up and and throw it on the network and and here you really have to um, gotta be the cream of the crop to rise to the top you do you do and there are Many here that I would love to see. Oh, I remember old Darwinia, La, uh, Leiden Tree, Manta Network, just recently on some parallel finance. Okay. Uh, Moonbeam, um, A Star, Akala. This just looks like and, ah, Clover. I, I, I know I've checked out a, a little, I don't remember exactly what they do, but this just overall just looks like uh, an overall just cream of the crop, like you said, just the cream of the crop list. So congratulations to all these projects. Congratulations to dot holders, to dot holders to be, and for all those supporting these uh, auctions. And thank you, Jacob, for bringing this good research and knowledge to the front. 
thank you all for your support, your love, and your good vibes. Did we get everything on this one covered for the most part? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, then until the next time, have a beautiful day. Namaste. Later. <laughs>